Look down, look all around Up in the air or on the ground Come for a walk, come for a ride There's so much to see, so come outside I'm usually eaten at breakfast I'm fruity and taste very sweet I like to be spread on slices of bread and then I'm delicious to eat. What am I? I'm marmalade. Hello, me dears. Pippin isn't very well. She's got an upset tummy. It all started yesterday. We'd gone for a walk. It was a lovely day. But then Pippin found some food someone had thrown on the ground. Pippin, no! Too late. She'd swallowed it. Goodness knows how long it had been there, but it must have gone bad because it made her sick. That's why I keep a lot of my food in the fridge. That way it stays cool and fresh. Come and say hello to Pippin. I'm sure she'd be pleased to see you. Pippin! Look who's here. Never mind, Pippin. You'll soon be feeling better. Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she phoned for the doctor to come quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with her bag and her hat. And she knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat. Food. I don't need to keep my marmalade in the fridge. It won't go bad as long as I keep the lid on tightly. People have been making marmalade for hundreds and hundreds of years. Before there were fridges, it was a way of keeping fruit, like oranges, nice and fresh. We'll go and find out all about it. We're just going out, Pippin. Do you feel like coming? No. She'll be all right. We shan't be long. <laughs> We're going abroad, to Spain. That means we shall fly across the sea. We're nearly there now. That's where we're going, to an orange grove. Marmalade is often made from oranges, and this is where they grow, on the orange trees.
Buenos días, señor. Buenos días. ¿Cómo está usted? Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y usted, cómo está? Muy bien, gracias. I was speaking Spanish then. I said, good morning, how are you? And he said, good morning, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Oranges need plenty of warm sunshine to grow. It's too cold for them in our country, but the weather here in Spain is just what they like. They're ripe and juicy now and ready to be picked. These oranges are going all the way to England, where they'll be used to make marmalade. We'll go and see how they do it. Gracias. De nada. Adiós. Adiós. Marmalade made from ripe oranges Growing in sunshine where skies are so blue Marmalade, sweet juicy marmalade When they make marmalade What do they do? This is the factory where they make the marmalade. Here are the oranges, all the way from Spain. First of all, they have a wash. Then the oranges are checked to make sure they're all good. This one's green, so it won't be used for marmalade. All the good oranges are cooked in a big tank. They cook for about three hours. Cooking makes the skin, called peel, go all squashy. The pulp, the soft part inside, is scooped out. Then the peel is cut up into small pieces. You know when you eat an orange, you often find hard pips in it, like these? Well, this machine takes them out. In it goes. There's the pulp. And here are the pips. The orange pulp and the peel are mixed together again. And off they go up to the boiler. Inside the boiler is where the special ingredient is added which will keep the oranges fresh for a long time. It's sugar. And this is what people have been using for hundreds and hundreds of years to stop their fruit going bad. And that's it. The marmalade's made. Enough to fill all these glass jars. Marmalade made from ripe oranges Growing in sunshine where skies are so blue Marmalade, sweet juicy marmalade When they make marmalade, that's what they do And off they go to be sold in the shops Now you know all about marmalade. Oh, hello.
Hello, Pippin. Are you feeling better? I've brought you a present. Look, a little pot of marmalade. Would you like to try some? Years ago, people thought of marmalade as a medicine. They thought it was good for their tummy. So, perhaps it'll be good for your tummy, Pippin. I know a story about someone who ate some marmalade when she didn't feel well. She was a queen, a real person, who lived more than 400 years ago. Her name was Mary, and she came from Scotland. She had grown up in a country called France. But now she was 18 years old, and going back to Scotland to be their queen... They didn't have aeroplanes in those days, so she had to travel across the sea in a sailing ship. As she was a queen, Mary had a whole fleet of ships to carry her servants and all her belongings. The ships set sail on a long journey across the sea to Scotland. One day, they sailed into a terrible storm. The ships rocked up and down on huge waves which crashed onto their decks. Queen Mary began to feel quite seasick. Have you ever felt sick on a boat or in a car? It's horrible, isn't it? Suddenly, the door swung open and in came one of Queen Mary's ladies-in-waiting. Your Majesty, she said, trying to curtsy without falling over. I believe a little marmalade may help. Queen Mary felt so awful she would try anything. And so she ate the marmalade. Soon the storm blew away and the sea was calm again. Queen Mary went up onto the deck. She was feeling much better. Do you think it was the marmalade? I don't know if that's a true story, but it's a good one. Pippin? What's the matter? Are you feeling ill again? <coughs> You're teasing me. Oh, Pippin.